Welcome to the Command Report, your number one news report for the Washington Commanders. How y'all doing? Hey, Ken. Uh, tell us about your off season, which, which you've been working on. Uh, how you feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. Just excited to be out here. Excited to be with the guys. Just working on just. Just building that continuity, just being, spending time with each other, you know, just little, little things in the locker room and the, in the meeting rooms, and then just getting out here, just, you know, really just kind of all of us still figuring each, figuring each other out, you know, just knowing certain places where we want to be, knowing where, you know, your safety is going to be on certain coverages, certain plays and stuff like that. So, you know, just having that, that familiarity and just knowing where everybody's going to be is just going to help us play better. So it's been fun. Last year, this was a group with really high expectations, a disappointing start to the season. How do, you, how do you come in this year learning from that, building off of that? Just taking advantage of every day, you know, just being able to be out here every day with each other. Like I said, just continuing to learn about each other, you know, knowing, you know, if I got Cam to my side, how he might like to, he might see things this way. He wants to be here. If I have Bobby to my side, he might see things differently. He might want to be here or be there. So just, like I said, just building that continuity and just, Having that familiarity, familiarity with each other, you know, all that little stuff adds up, you know, once the season comes. I want to ask you about two guys that you've had to face on offense, Carson and then Jahan. What have been your impressions first of Carson? Uh, you know, just how smart he is. You know, just little things. He's always coming, asking questions. Why'd you play it like this? How'd you see it? Um, you know, everybody knows his arm talent and things like that. So, you know, just, just the little things, you know, you don't, being able to get that from a guy that's, that's proven a vet, you know, where he's coming up asking defensive guys, like not just talking to the offensive guys, but talking to defensive guys, you know, still trying to learn and get better. You know, that's what everybody's trying to do no matter, you know, no matter how long you've been in this league, there's always going to be improvement, always things to get better at, and always more knowledge of the game. Um, and then Jahan, you know, just, you know, I think he has a sen sense of comfort uh, that, that he comes out here with, a uh, sense of comfort, confidence. Um, you know, his talent is talent went first reason first round for a reason. But uh, you know, definitely just how comfortable and confident he's been coming out here. Can you tell what it is he's for a young guy, he seems to have a pretty good plan when he's running his routes. Can you tell that is there a little bit different savviness to what he does even? Uh yeah. Uh, I think I told Coach Harris the day he had ran a route yesterday and then came off and kind of sold the same route and added some little flavor at the top. But you know, just to have that mindset, like, okay, like I went against Kendall, I ran this route, let me make it look the same way, but have a counter off of it for the same thing. So, you know, that's something that, you know, the good wide receivers have, and they, they always know that, know things like that. Hey Kendall, a uh, scary collision today between Jeremy Reeves and De'Ami Brown. You were one of the first guys there. What did you see and what was your reaction? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think Reeves is trying to make a play on the ball and, uh, you know, I think just, you know, us learning, us getting out there, you know, just knowing when to pull up, when to pull off. But, you know, a guy just trying to make a football play, but just us understanding that, you know, we don't have pads on yet. You know, I think Coach Rivera, first thing he said, like, man, we have pads on, it's a whole different discussion. And uh, he, we all know that Reeves didn't have any ill will towards it. You know, you could, you could see him going in with his hand, trying to get his hand on the ball. And uh, sometimes, that happens in football and, you know, just where we're at now with OTAs, you know, we're just trying to avoid those collisions. So, you know. Uh, after the collision happened, Rivera pulled everybody in for a discussion and then there was a player who talked to everybody after that. Was that you or was that someone else? Who talked no, to I think it was a group of us. All of us just kind of just said, hey, let's come in. And uh, I can't remember who exactly it was, but, you know, everybody just kind of expressing like, hey, like, we want to work, we want to work hard. Everybody wants to make plays, but let's take care of each other. Uh, last one. Changing gears, out of all the guys in the secondary, young guys, new guys, veterans, who's impressed you the most thus far in OTAs? Um, I don't know. I don't have one that I can think of at the top of my head right now. You know, just I would definitely say just a lot of those guys that's, you know, we got some guys that's going corner nickel, some guys that's going safety to the nickel. So, you know, guys being able to have that flexibility, being able to, be comfortable enough, have the knowledge, be able to take it to go in and out or go to safety, come in there, go to nickel. You know, that's that's never easy to do. So we got vets doing it, younger guys doing it. So it's definitely good to see everybody kind of learning. I think it'll help us out as a defense. You know, when you learn and you know where every position is doing, where they're supposed to be at, you know, it helps you whenever you're on the field. All right, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for tuning in to the Command Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest Washington Commander's news.